In physics, special relativity senior, also known as the special theory of relativity or STR is the generally accepted and experimentally well-confirmed physical theory regarding the relationship between space and time. In Albert Einstein's original pedagogical treatment, it is based on two postulates. The laws of physics are invariant i.e., identical in all inertial systems i.e., non-accelerating frames of reference. The speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of the motion of the light source. It was originally proposed by Albert Einstein in a paper published 26 September 1905 titled, On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies. The inconsistency of Newtonian mechanics with Maxwell's equations of electromagnetism and the lack of experimental confirmation for a hypothesized luminiferous ether led to the development of special relativity, which corrects mechanics to handle situations involving motions at a significant fraction of the speed of light known as relativistic velocities. As of today, special relativity is the most accurate model of motion at any speed when gravitational effects are negligible. Even so, the Newtonian mechanics model is still useful as an approximation at small velocities relative to the speed of light, due to its simplicity and high accuracy within its scope. Special relativity implies a wide range of consequences, which have been experimentally verified, including length contraction, time dilation, relativistic mass, mass-energy equivalence, a universal speed limit and relativity of simultaneity. It has replaced the conventional notion of an absolute universal time with the notion of a time that is dependent on reference frame and spatial position. Rather than an invariant time interval between two events, there is an invariant spacetime interval. Combined with other laws of physics, the two postulates of special relativity predict the equivalence of mass and energy, as expressed in the mass-energy equivalence formula E equals mc2, where c is the speed of light in a vacuum. A defining feature of special relativity is the replacement of the Galilean transformations of Newtonian mechanics with the Lorentz transformations. Time and space cannot be defined separately from each other. Rather, space and time are interwoven into a single continuum known as spacetime. Events that occur at the same time for one observer can occur at different times for another. Not until Einstein developed general relativity, introducing a curved spacetime to incorporate gravity, was the phrase, special relativity, employed. A translation that has often been used as, restricted relativity. Special, really means, special case. The theory is, special in that it only applies in the special case where the spacetime is flat, i.e., the curvature of spacetime, described by the energy-momentum tensor and causing gravity, is negligible. In order to include gravity, Einstein formulated general relativity in 1915. Special relativity, contrary to some outdated descriptions, is capable of handling accelerations as well as accelerated frames of reference, as Galilean relativity is now considered an approximation of special relativity that is valid for low speeds. Special relativity is considered an approximation of general relativity that is valid for weak gravitational fields, i.e. at a sufficiently small scale for tidal forces and in conditions of free fall. Whereas general relativity incorporates non-Euclidean geometry in order to represent gravitational effects as the geometric curvature of spacetime, special relativity is restricted to the flat spacetime known as Minkowski space. As long as the universe can be modeled as a pseudo-Riemannian manifold, a Lorentz invariant frame that abides by special relativity can be defined for a sufficiently small neighborhood of each point in this curved spacetime. Galileo Galilei had already postulated that there is no absolute and well-defined state of rest no privileged reference frames, a principle now called Galileo's principle of relativity. Einstein extended this principle so that it accounted for the constant speed of light, a phenomenon that had been recently observed in the Michelson-Morley experiment. He also postulated that it holds for all the laws of physics, including both the laws of mechanics and of electrodynamics. Topic. Postulates Einstein discerned two fundamental propositions that seem to be the most assured, regardless of the exact validity of the then known laws of either mechanics or electrodynamics. These propositions were the constancy of the speed of light and the independence of physical laws especially the constancy of the speed of light from the choice of inertial system. In his initial presentation of special relativity in 1905 he expressed these postulates as 
The principle of relativity, the laws by which the states of physical systems undergo change are not affected, whether these changes of state be referred to the one or the other of two systems in uniform translatory motion relative to each other. The principle of invariant light speed. Light is always propagated in empty space with a definite velocity speed c which is independent of the state of motion of the emitting body." From the preface. That is, light in vacuum propagates with the speed c a fixed constant, independent of direction in at least one system of inertial coordinates the stationary system. Regardless of the state of motion of the light source, the constancy of the speed of light was motivated by Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism and the lack of evidence for the luminiferous ether. There is conflicting evidence on the extent to which Einstein was influenced by the null result of the Michelson-Morley experiment. In any case, the null result of the Michelson-Morley experiment helped the notion of the constancy of the speed of light gain widespread and rapid acceptance. The derivation of special relativity depends not only on these two explicit postulates, but also on several tacit assumptions made in almost all theories of physics, including the isotropy and homogeneity of space and the independence of measuring rods and clocks from their past history. Following Einstein's original presentation of special relativity in 1905, many different sets of postulates have been proposed in various alternative derivations. However, the most common set of postulates remains those employed by Einstein in his original paper. A more mathematical statement of the principle of relativity made later by Einstein, which introduces the concept of simplicity not mentioned above is Special principle of relativity, if a system of coordinates k is chosen so that, in relation to it, physical laws hold good in their simplest form, the same laws hold good in relation to any other system of coordinates k moving in uniform translation relatively to k. Henri Poincaré provided the mathematical framework for relativity theory by proving that Lorentz transformations are a subset of his Poincaré group of symmetry transformations. Einstein later derived these transformations from his axioms. Many of Einstein's papers present derivations of the Lorentz transformation based upon these two principles. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Principle of relativity. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Reference frames and relative motion. Reference frames play a crucial role in relativity theory. The term reference frame as used here is an observational perspective in space which is not undergoing any change in motion acceleration, from which a position can be measured along three spatial axes. In addition, a reference frame has the ability to determine measurements of the time of events using a clock any reference device with uniform periodicity. An event is an occurrence that can be assigned a single unique time and location in space relative to a reference frame, it is a point in spacetime. Since the speed of light is constant in relativity in each and every reference frame, pulses of light can be used to unambiguously measure distances and refer back the times that events occurred to the clock, even though light takes time to reach the clock after the event has transpired. For example, the explosion of a firecracker may be considered to be an event. We can completely specify an event by its four spacetime coordinates, the time of occurrence and its three-dimensional spatial location define a reference point. Let's call this reference frame S. In relativity theory, we often want to calculate the coordinates of an event from differing reference frames. The equations that relate measurements made in different frames are called transformation equations. To gain insight in how spacetime coordinates measured by observers in different reference frames compare with each other, it is useful to work with a simplified setup with frames in a standard configuration. With care, this allows simplification of the math with no loss of generality in the conclusions that are reached. In Fig. 2 to 1, two Galilean reference frames, i.e., conventional three space frames, are displayed in relative motion. Frame S belongs to a first observer O, and frame S pronounced S prime belongs to a second observer O. The x, y, z axes of frame S are oriented parallel to the respective primed axes of frame S. Frame S moves in the x direction of frame S with a constant velocity v as measured in frame S. The origins of frames S and S are coincident when time t. Topic <laughs> zero for frame S and t. 
0 for frame s since there is no absolute reference frame in relativity theory a concept of moving doesn't strictly exist as everything is always moving with respect to some other reference frame instead any two frames that move at the same speed in the same direction are said to be comoving therefore s and s are not comoving topic <laughs> lack of an absolute reference frame The principle of relativity, which states that physical laws have the same form in each inertial reference frame, dates back to Galileo, and was incorporated into Newtonian physics. However, in the late 19th century, the existence of electromagnetic waves led physicists to suggest that the universe was filled with a substance that they called ether, which would act as the medium through which these waves, or vibrations traveled. The ether was thought to constitute an absolute reference frame against which speeds could be measured, and could be considered fixed and motionless. Ether supposedly possessed some wonderful properties, it was sufficiently elastic to support electromagnetic waves, and those waves could interact with matter, yet it offered no resistance to bodies passing through it. The results of various experiments, including the Michelson-Morley experiment, led to the theory of special relativity, by showing that there was no ether. Einstein's solution was to discard the notion of an ether and the absolute state of rest. In relativity, any reference frame moving with uniform motion will observe the same laws of physics. In particular, the speed of light in vacuum is always measured to be c, even when measured by multiple systems that are moving at different but constant velocities. Topic: <laughs> Relativity without the second postulate. From the principle of relativity alone without assuming the constancy of the speed of light i.e. using the isotropy of space and the symmetry implied by the principle of special relativity one can show that the spacetime transformations between inertial frames are either Euclidean, Galilean, or Lorentzian. In the Lorentzian case, one can then obtain relativistic interval conservation and a certain finite limiting speed. Experiments suggest that this speed is the speed of light in vacuum. Topic. Lorentz transformation Topic. The essential core of special relativity Einstein consistently based the derivation of Lorentz invariance the essential core of special relativity on just the two basic principles of relativity and light speed invariance. He wrote, the insight fundamental for the special theory of relativity is this, the assumptions relativity and light speed invariance are compatible if relations of a new type, Lorentz transformation, are postulated for the conversion of coordinates and times of events. The universal principle of the special theory of relativity is contained in the postulate, the laws of physics are invariant with respect to Lorentz transformations for the transition from one inertial system to any other arbitrarily chosen inertial system. This is a restricting principle for natural laws. Thus many modern treatments of special relativity base it on the single postulate of universal Lorentz covariance, or, equivalently, on the single postulate of Minkowski spacetime, rather than considering universal Lorentz covariance to be a derived principle, this article considers it to be the fundamental postulate of special relativity. The traditional two-postulate approach to special relativity is presented in innumerable college textbooks and popular presentations. Textbooks starting with the single postulate of Minkowski spacetime include those by Taylor and Wheeler and by Callahan. This is also the approach followed by the Wikipedia articles spacetime and Minkowski diagram. Topic: <laughs> Lorentz transformation and its inverse. Define an event to have spacetime coordinates t, x, y, z in system S and t, x, y, z in a reference frame moving at a velocity v with respect to that frame, S. Then the Lorentz transformation specifies that these coordinates are related in the following way, t equals gamma t minus v x, c2 x equals gamma x minus v t y equals y z equals z, display style begin aligned t and equals gamma t v x, c caret 2 x and equals gamma x vermont y and equals y z and equals z, end aligned where gamma equals 1 1 minus v 2 c 2, display style gamma equals fr a C one SQRT one FRAC V carrot two C carrot two 
is the Lorentz factor and c is the speed of light in vacuum, and the velocity v of s is parallel to the x-axis. The y and z coordinates are unaffected, only the x and t coordinates are transformed. These Lorentz transformations form a one-parameter group of linear mappings, that parameter being called rapidity. There is nothing special about the x-axis, the transformation can apply to the y or z-axis, or indeed in any direction, which can be done by directions parallel to the motion which are warped by the gamma factor and perpendicular, see the article Lorentz transformation for details. A quantity invariant under Lorentz transformations is known as a Lorentz scalar. Writing the Lorentz transformation and its inverse in terms of coordinate differences, where for instance one event has coordinates x1, t1, and x1, t1, another event has coordinates x2, t2, and x2, t2, and the differences are defined as delta x equals x2, minus x1, delta x equals x2 minus x1, delta t equals t2 minus t1, delta t equals t2 minus t1. Display style begin Array LL delta x equals x underscore two x underscore one and delta x equals x underscore two x underscore one. Delta t equals t underscore two t underscore one and delta t equals t underscore two t underscore one end array. We get delta x equals gamma delta x minus v delta t delta x equals gamma delta x plus v delta t delta t equals gamma delta t minus v delta x c two delta t equals gamma delta t plus v delta x c2 display style begin array ll delta x equals gamma delta x v delta t and delta x equals gamma delta x plus v delta t delta t equals gamma left delta t dfrac v delta x c caret 2 right and delta t equals gamma left delta t plus dfrac v delta x c caret 2 right end array these effects are explicitly related to our way of measuring time intervals between events which occur at the same place in a given coordinate system called co-local events. These time intervals will be different in another coordinate system moving with respect to the first, unless the events are also simultaneous. Similarly, these effects also relate to our measured distances between separated but simultaneous events in a given coordinate system of choice. If these events are not co-local, but are separated by distance space, they will not occur at the same spatial distance from each other when seen from another moving coordinate system. However, the spacetime interval will be the same for all observers. Topic graphical representation of the Lorentz transformation Spacetime diagrams Minkowski diagrams are an extremely useful aid to visualizing how coordinates transform between different reference frames. Although it is not as easy to perform exact computations using them as directly invoking the Lorentz transformations, their main power is their ability to provide an intuitive grasp of the results of a relativistic scenario. To draw a spacetime diagram, begin by considering two Galilean reference frames, S and S, in standard configuration, as shown in Fig. 2 to 1, Fig. 3 to 1 A. Draw the x display style x and t display style t axes of frame S. The x Display style x axis is horizontal and the t display style t actually c t display style court axis is vertical, which is the opposite of the usual convention in kinematics. The c t display style court axis is scaled by a factor of c display style c so that both axes have common units of length in the diagram shown the grid lines are spaced one unit distance apart the 45 degrees diagonal lines represent the world lines of two photons passing through the origin at time t equals 0 display style t equals 0 the slope of these world lines is 1 because the photons advance one unit in space per unit of time Two events, a display style text a and b display style text b, have been plotted on this graph so that their coordinates may be compared in the s and s frames. Fig. 3 to 1 b. Draw the x display style x and c t display style court 
axes of frame s the c t display style court axis represents the world line of the origin of the s coordinate system as measured in frame s in this figure v equals c 2 display style v equals c 2 both the c t display style court and x display style x axes are tilted from the unprimed axes by an angle alpha equals tan minus 1 beta display style alpha equals tan caret minus 1 beta where beta equals v c display style beta equals v c the primed and unprimed axes share a common origin because frames s and s had been set up in standard configuration so that t equals 0 display style t equals 0 when t equals 0 display style t equals 0 fig 3 to 1 c Units in the primed axes have a different scale from units in the unprimed axes. From the Lorentz transformations, we observe that x c t display style x court coordinates of 0 1 display style 0 1 in the primed coordinate system transform to beta gamma gamma display style beta gamma gamma in the unprimed coordinate system likewise x c t display style x court coordinates of 1 0 display style 1 0 in the primed coordinate system transform to gamma beta gamma display style gamma beta gamma in the unprimed system draw grid lines parallel with the c t display style court axis through points k gamma k beta gamma display style k gamma k beta gamma as measured in the unprimed frame where k display style k is an integer likewise draw grid lines parallel with the x display style x axis through k beta gamma k gamma display style k beta gamma k gamma as measured in the unprimed frame using the pythagorean theorem we observe that the spacing between c T display style court units equals one plus beta two one minus beta two display style sqrt one plus beta caret two one beta caret two times the spacing between c t display style court Units, as measured in frame S, this ratio is always greater than 1, and it approaches infinity as beta 1. Display style beta right arrow 1. Fig 3 to 1 d. Since the speed of light is an invariant, the world lines of two photons passing through the origin at time t equals 0. Display style t equals 0 still plot as 45 degrees diagonal lines the primed coordinates of a display style text a and b display style text b are related to the unprimed coordinates through the lorentz transformations and could be approximately measured from the graph assuming that it has been plotted accurately enough but the real merit of a minkowski diagram is its granting us a geometric view of the scenario 
For example, in this figure, we observe that the two timelike separated events that had different x coordinates in the unprimed frame are now at the same position in space. While the unprimed frame is drawn with space and time axes that meet at right angles, the primed frame is drawn with axes that meet at acute or obtuse angles. The frames are actually equivalent. The asymmetry is due to unavoidable distortions in how spacetime coordinates can map onto a Cartesian plane. By analogy, planar maps of the world are unavoidably distorted, but with experience, one learns to mentally account for these distortions. Topic. Consequences derived from the Lorentz transformation The consequences of special relativity can be derived from the Lorentz transformation equations. These transformations, and hence special relativity, lead to different physical predictions than those of Newtonian mechanics when relative velocities become comparable to the speed of light. The speed of light is so much larger than anything humans encounter that some of the effects predicted by relativity are initially counterintuitive. Topic. Invariant interval In Galilean relativity, length delta r display style delta r and temporal separation between two events delta t display style delta t are independent invariants the values of which do not change when observed from different frames of reference in special relativity however the interweaving of spatial and temporal coordinates generates the concept of an invariant interval denoted as delta s 2 display style delta s caret 2 delta s 2 equals d e f c 2 delta t 2 minus delta x 2 plus delta y 2 plus delta z 2 display style delta s caret 2 overset def equals c caret 2 delta t caret 2 delta x caret 2 plus delta y caret 2 plus delta z caret 2 the interweaving of space and time revokes the implicitly assumed concepts of absolute simultaneity and synchronization across non comoving frames the form of Delta S two display style delta S caret two being the difference of the squared time lapse and the squared spatial distance demonstrates a fundamental discrepancy between Euclidean and spacetime distances. The invariance of this interval is a property of the general Lorentz transform, also called the Poincaré transformation, making it an isometry of spacetime. The general Lorentz transform extends the standard Lorentz transform which deals with translations without rotation, i.e. Lorentz boosts, in the x-direction with all other translations, reflections, and rotations between any Cartesian inertial frame. In the analysis of simplified scenarios, such as spacetime diagrams, a reduced dimensionality form of the invariant interval is often employed. Delta S 2 equals C 2 delta t 2 minus delta x 2 display style delta s caret 2 equals c caret 2 delta t caret 2 delta x caret 2 demonstrating that the interval is invariant is straightforward for the reduced dimensionality case and with frames in standard configuration c 2 delta T two minus delta x two display style c caret two delta t caret two delta x caret two equals c two gamma two delta t plus v delta x c 2 minus gamma 2 delta x plus v 
delta t 2 display style equals c caret 2 gamma caret 2 left delta t plus d frac v delta x c caret 2 right caret 2 gamma caret 2 delta x plus v delta t caret 2 equals gamma 2 c 2 delta t 2 plus 2 v delta x delta t plus v 2 delta x 2 c 2 minus Display style equals gamma carrot two left c carrot two delta t carrot two plus two v delta x delta t plus d f r a c v carrot two delta x carrot two c carrot two right gamma two delta x two plus two v delta x delta T plus V two delta T two display style gamma carrot two delta x carrot two plus two V delta x delta T plus V carrot two delta T carrot two equals gamma two C two delta T two Minus gamma two v two delta t two minus gamma two delta x two plus gamma two v two delta x two C two display style equals gamma carrot two C carrot two delta T carrot two gamma carrot two V carrot two delta T carrot two gamma carrot two delta X carrot two plus gamma carrot two D F R A C V carrot two delta X carrot two C carrot two equals gamma two C two delta T Two one minus V two C two minus Gamma two Delta X two one minus V two C two Display style equals gamma carrot two c carrot two delta t carrot two left one d f r a c v carrot two c carrot two right gamma carrot two delta x carrot two left one d f r a c v carrot two c carrot two right equals c two delta t two minus delta x Two display style equals c caret two delta t caret two delta x caret two. The value of delta s two display style delta s caret two is hence independent of the frame in which it is measured. In considering the physical significance of delta s two display style delta s caret two. There are three cases to note. Delta S2 greater than zero. In this case, the two events are separated by more time than space, and they are hence said to be timelike separated. This implies that delta x, delta t, c, display style delta x, delta t, and given the Lorentz transformation, delta x equals gamma delta x minus v delta t, display style delta x equals gamma delta x v delta t. It is evident that there exists a v display style v less than c display style c for which delta x equals zero display style delta x equals zero. In particular, v equals delta x delta t display style v equals delta x. Delta t. 
In other words, given two events that are timelike separated, it is possible to find a frame in which the two events happen at the same place. In this frame, the separation in time, delta s, c, display style delta s, c, is called the proper time. Delta s2. This implies that delta x delta t greater than c display style delta x delta t greater than c and given the lorentz transformation delta t equals gamma delta t minus v delta x c 2 display style delta t equals gamma delta t v delta x c caret 2 there exists a v display style v less than c display style c for which delta t equals 0 display style delta t equals 0 in particular v equals c 2 delta t delta x display style v equals c caret 2 delta t delta x in other words given two events that are space like separated it is possible to find a frame in which the two events happen at the same time in this frame the separation in space minus delta s 2 display style sqrt delta s caret 2 is called the proper distance or proper length for values of v display style v greater than and less than c 2 delta t delta x display style c caret 2 delta t delta x the sign of delta t display style delta t changes meaning that the temporal order of space like separated events changes depending on the frame in which the events are viewed the temporal order of time like separated events however is absolute since the only way that v display style v could be greater than c 2 delta t delta x display style c caret 2 delta t delta x would be if v greater than c display style v greater than c delta s2 equals 0 in this case the two events are said to be light like separated this implies that delta x delta t equals c display style delta x delta t equals c and this relationship is frame independent due to the invariance of s 2 display style s caret 2 from this we observe that the speed of light is c display style c in every inertial frame in other words, starting from the assumption of universal Lorentz covariance, the constant speed of light is a derived result, rather than a postulate as in the two postulates formulation of the special theory. <laughs> Relativity of simultaneity Two events happening in two different locations that occur simultaneously in the reference frame of one inertial observer, may occur non-simultaneously in the reference frame of another inertial observer lack of absolute simultaneity. From the first equation of the Lorentz transformation in terms of coordinate differences, delta t equals gamma delta t minus v delta x c 2 display style delta t equals gamma left delta t frac v delta x c caret 2 right it is clear that two events that are simultaneous in frame s satisfying delta t topic 
0 are not necessarily simultaneous in another inertial frame s satisfying delta t 0 only if these events are additionally co-local in frame s satisfying delta x equals 0 will they be simultaneous in another frame s the sagnac effect can be considered a manifestation of the relativity of simultaneity since relativity of simultaneity is a first order effect in v display style v instruments based on the sagnac effect for their operation such as ring laser gyroscopes and fiber optic gyroscopes are capable of extreme levels of sensitivity topic time dilation The time lapse between two events is not invariant from one observer to another, but is dependent on the relative speeds of the observer's reference frames e.g., the twin paradox which concerns a twin who flies off in a spaceship traveling near the speed of light and returns to discover that his or her twin sibling has aged much more. Suppose a clock is at rest in the unprimed system S. The location of the clock on two different ticks is then characterized by delta x equals zero. To find the relation between the times between these ticks as measured in both systems, the first equation can be used to find delta t equals gamma delta t display style delta t equals gamma delta t for events satisfying delta x equals zero. Display style delta x equals zero. This shows that the time delta t between the two ticks as seen in the frame in which the clock is moving s is longer than the time delta t between these ticks as measured in the rest frame of the clock s. Time dilation explains a number of physical phenomena. For example, the lifetime of muons produced by cosmic rays impinging on the Earth's atmosphere is measured to be greater than the lifetimes of muons measured in the laboratory. Topic. Length contraction The dimensions e length of an object as measured by one observer may be smaller than the results of measurements of the same object made by another observer e.g., the ladder paradox involves a long ladder traveling near the speed of light and being contained within a smaller garage. Similarly, suppose a measuring rod is at rest and aligned along the x-axis in the unprimed system S. In this system, the length of this rod is written as delta x. To measure the length of this rod in the system S, in which the rod is moving, the distances x to the end points of the rod must be measured simultaneously in that system S. In other words, the measurement is characterized by delta t equals zero, which can be combined with the fourth equation to find the relation between the lengths delta x and delta x. Delta x equals delta x gamma. Display style delta x equals frac delta x gamma for events satisfying delta t equals zero. Display style delta t equals zero. This shows that the length delta x of the rod as measured in the frame in which it is moving s is shorter than its length delta x in its own rest frame s. Topic. Composition of velocities Velocities speeds do not simply add. If the observer in S measures an object moving along the x-axis at velocity u, then the observer in the S system, a frame of reference moving at velocity v in the x-direction with respect to S, will measure the object moving with velocity u where from the Lorentz transformations above u equals d x D T equals Gamma D X minus V D T Gamma D T minus V D X C two equals D X D T minus V one minus V C two D X D T 
equals u minus v 1 minus u v c 2 Display style u equals frac dx dt equals frac gamma dx v dt gamma left dt frac v dx c caret two right equals frac frac dx dt v one left frac v c caret two right left frac dx dt right equals frac u v one frac u v c caret two the other frame s will measure u equals d x d t equals gamma d x plus v d t gamma d t plus v d x c 2 equals d x d t plus v 1 plus v c 2 d x d t equals u plus v 1 plus u v c 2 Display style u equals frac dx dt equals frac gamma dx plus v dt gamma left dt plus frac v dx c caret two right equals frac frac dx dt plus v one plus left frac v c caret two right left frac dx dt right equals frac u plus v one plus frac u c caret Two. Notice that if the object were moving at the speed of light in the S system, i.e., u equals c, then it would also be moving at the speed of light in the S system. Also, if both u and v are small with respect to the speed of light, we will recover the intuitive Galilean transformation of velocities. U approximately equals u minus v. Display style u approximately u v. The usual example given is that of a train frame S above, traveling due east with a velocity v with respect to the tracks frame S. A child inside the train throws a baseball due east with a velocity u with respect to the train. In nonrelativistic physics, an observer at rest on the tracks will measure the velocity of the baseball due east as u equals u plus v, while in special relativity this is no longer true, instead the velocity of the baseball due east is given by the second equation. U equals U plus V one plus U V C two Display style U equals FRAC U plus V one plus FRAC U C carrot two Again, there is nothing special about the X or East directions. This formalism applies to any direction by considering parallel and perpendicular components of motion to the direction of relative velocity v. See main article for details. Topic: <laughs> Thomas rotation. The composition of two non-collinear Lorentz boosts, i.e., two non-collinear Lorentz transformations, neither of which involve rotation, results in a Lorentz transformation that is not a pure boost but is the composition of a boost and a rotation. Thomas rotation results from the relativity of simultaneity. In Fig. 4 to 2 a a rod of length l display style l in its rest frame, i.e., having a proper length of l. Display style L rises vertically along the y-axis in the ground frame. In Fig. 4 to 2b, the same rod is observed from the frame of a rocket moving at speed v. Display style v to the right. 
If we imagine two clocks situated at the left and right ends of the rod that are synchronized in the frame of the rod, relativity of simultaneity causes the observer in the rocket frame to observe not see the clock at the right end of the rod as being advanced in time by L V C 2 display style L V C 2 and the rod is correspondingly observed as tilted. Unlike second order relativistic effects such as length contraction or time dilation, this effect becomes quite significant even at fairly low velocities. For example, this can be seen in the spin of moving particles, where Thomas precession is a relativistic correction that applies to the spin of an elementary particle or the rotation of a macroscopic gyroscope, relating the angular velocity of the spin of a particle following a curvilinear orbit to the angular velocity of the orbital motion. Thomas rotation provides the resolution to the well known meter stick and hole paradox. Causality and prohibition of motion faster than light In Fig. 4-3, the interval between the events A and B is time-like, i.e., there is a frame of reference in which events A and B occur at the same location in space, separated only by occurring at different times. If A precedes B in that frame, then A precedes B in all frames accessible by a Lorentz transformation. It is possible for matter or information to travel below light speed from the location of A, starting at the time of A, to the location of B, arriving at the time of B, so there can be a causal relationship with A the cause and B the effect. The interval AC in the diagram is space-like, i.e., there is a frame of reference in which events A and C occur simultaneously, separated only in space. There are also frames in which A precedes C as shown and frames in which C precedes A however, there are no frames accessible by a Lorentz transformation, in which events A and C occur at the same location. If it were possible for a cause and effect relationship to exist between events A and C, then paradoxes of causality would result. For example, if signals could be sent faster than light, then signals could be sent into the senders past observer B in the diagrams. A variety of causal paradoxes could then be constructed. Consider the spacetime diagrams in Fig. 4 to 4. A and B stand alongside a railroad track when a high-speed train passes by, with C riding in the last car of the train and D riding in the leading car. The world lines of A and B are vertical, court, distinguishing the stationary position of these observers on the ground, while the world lines of C and D are tilted forwards, court, reflecting the rapid motion of the observers C and D stationary in their train, as observed from the ground. Fig. 4-4a. The event of B passing a message to D, as the leading car passes by, is at the origin of D's frame. D sends the message along the train to C in the rear car, using a fictitious instantaneous communicator. The world line of this message is the fat red arrow along the minus x display style x axis, which is a line of simultaneity in the primed frames of C and D in the unprimed ground frame the signal arrives earlier than it was sent. Fig. 4-4b. The event of C passing the message to A, who is standing by the railroad tracks, is at the origin of their frames. Now A sends the message along the tracks to B via an instantaneous communicator. The world line of this message is the blue fat arrow, along the plus x display style plus x axis, which is a line of simultaneity for the frames of A and B as seen from the spacetime diagram. B will receive the message before having sent it out, a violation of causality. It is not necessary for signals to be instantaneous to violate causality. Even if the signal from D to C were slightly shallower than the x display style x axis and the signal from A to B slightly steeper than the x display style x axis it would still be possible for B to receive his message before he had sent it by increasing the speed of the train to near light speeds the c t display style court and x display style x axes can be squeezed very close to the dashed line representing the speed of light with this modified setup it can be demonstrated that even signals only slightly faster than the speed of light will result in causality violation therefore if causality is to be preserved one of the consequences of special relativity is that no information signal or material object can travel faster than light in vacuum 
This is not to say that all faster than light speeds are impossible. Various trivial situations can be described where some things move faster than light. For example, the location where the beam of a search light hits the bottom of a cloud can move faster than light when the search light is turned rapidly. Topic. Optical effects Topic. Relativistic Doppler effect Topic. Relativistic longitudinal Doppler effect The classical Doppler effect depends on whether the source, receiver, or both are in motion with respect to the medium. The relativistic Doppler effect is independent of any medium. Nevertheless, relativistic Doppler shift for the longitudinal case, with source and receiver moving directly towards or away from each other, is often derived as if it were the classical phenomenon, but modified by the addition of a time dilation term. Assume the receiver and the source are moving away from each other with a relative speed v v as measured by an observer on the receiver or the source the sign convention adopted here is that v display style v is negative if the receiver and the source are moving towards each other assume that the source is stationary in the medium then f r equals 1 minus v c s f s display style f underscore r equals 1 v c underscore s f underscore s where C S display style C underscore S is the speed of sound for light, and with the receiver moving at relativistic speeds, clocks on the receiver are time dilated relative to clocks at the source. The receiver will measure the received frequency to be F R equals gamma one minus beta F S display style f underscore r equals gamma one beta f underscore s equals one minus beta one plus beta f s display style equals sqrt frac one beta one plus beta f underscore s where beta equals v c display style beta equals v c and gamma equals 1 1 minus beta 2 display style gamma equals frac 1 sqrt 1 beta caret 2 is the Lorentz factor. An identical expression for relativistic Doppler shift is obtained when performing the analysis in the reference frame of the receiver with a moving source. Topic. Transverse Doppler effect The transverse Doppler effect is one of the main novel predictions of the special theory of relativity. Classically, one might expect that if source and receiver are moving transversely with respect to each other with no longitudinal component to their relative motions, that there should be no Doppler shift in the light arriving at the receiver. Special relativity predicts otherwise. Fig. 521 illustrates two common variants of this scenario. Both variants can be analyzed using simple time dilation arguments. In Fig. 521a, the receiver observes light from the source as being blueshifted by a factor of gamma display style gamma in fig 521b the light is redshifted by the same factor topic measurement versus visual appearance time dilation and length contraction are not optical illusions but genuine effects measurements of these effects are not an artifact of doppler shift nor are they the result of neglecting to take into account the time it takes light to travel from an event to an observer scientists make a fundamental distinction between measurement or observation on the one hand versus visual appearance or what one sees the measured shape of an object is a hypothetical snapshot of all of the object's points as they exist at a single moment in time 
The visual appearance of an object, however, is affected by the varying lengths of time that light takes to travel from different points on the object to one's eye. For many years, the distinction between the two had not been generally appreciated, and it had generally been thought that a length-contracted object passing by an observer would in fact actually be seen as length-contracted. In 1959, James Terrell and Roger Penrose independently pointed out that differential time lag effects in signals reaching the observer from the different parts of a moving object result in a fast-moving object's visual appearance being quite different from its measured shape. For example, a receding object would appear contracted, an approaching object would appear elongated, and a passing object would have a skew appearance that has been likened to a rotation. A sphere in motion retains the appearance of a sphere, although images on the surface of the sphere will appear distorted. Fig. 5-2 illustrates a cube viewed from a distance of four times the length of its sides. At high speeds, the sides of the cube that are perpendicular to the direction of motion appear hyperbolic in shape. The cube is actually not rotated. Rather, light from the rear of the cube takes longer to reach one's eyes compared with light from the front, during which time the cube has moved to the right. This illusion has come to be known as Terrell rotation or the Terrell Penrose effect. Another example where visual appearance is at odds with measurement comes from the observation of apparent superluminal motion in various radio galaxies, BL LAC objects, quasars, and other astronomical objects that eject relativistic speed jets of matter at narrow angles with respect to the viewer. An optical illusion results giving the appearance of faster than light travel. In Fig. 5-3, Galaxy M87 streams out a high-speed jet of subatomic particles almost directly towards us, but Penrose Terrell rotation causes the jet to appear to be moving laterally in the same manner that the appearance of the cube in Fig. 5-2 has been stretched out. <laughs> Dynamics Section consequences derived from the Lorentz transformation dealt strictly with kinematics, the study of the motion of points, bodies, and systems of bodies without considering the forces that caused the motion. This section discusses masses, forces, energy and so forth, and as such requires consideration of physical effects beyond those encompassed by the Lorentz transformation itself. Topic. Equivalence of mass and energy As an object's speed approaches the speed of light from an observer's point of view, its relativistic mass increases thereby making it more and more difficult to accelerate it from within the observer's frame of reference. The energy content of an object at rest with mass m equals mc2. Conservation of energy implies that, in any reaction, a decrease of the sum of the masses of particles must be accompanied by an increase in kinetic energies of the particles after the reaction. Similarly, the mass of an object can be increased by taking in kinetic energies. In addition to the papers referenced above, which give derivations of the Lorentz transformation and describe the foundations of special relativity, Einstein also wrote at least four papers giving heuristic arguments for the equivalence and transmutability of mass and energy, for E equals mc2. Mass-energy equivalence is a consequence of special relativity. The energy and momentum, which are separate in Newtonian mechanics, form a four-vector in relativity, and this relates the time component the energy to the space components the momentum in a non-trivial way. For an object at rest, the energy-momentum four-vector is e, c, 0, 0, 0, it has a time component which is the energy, and three space components which are zero. By changing frames with a Lorentz transformation in the x direction with a small value of the velocity v, the energy momentum 4 vector becomes e, c, ev, c2, 0, 0. The momentum is equal to the energy multiplied by the velocity divided by c2. As such, the Newtonian mass of an object, which is the ratio of the momentum to the velocity for slow velocities, is equal to e, c2. The energy and momentum are properties of matter and radiation, and it is impossible to deduce that they form a four-vector just from the two basic postulates of special relativity by themselves, because these don't talk about matter or radiation, they only talk about space and time. The derivation therefore requires some additional physical reasoning. In his 1905 paper, Einstein used the additional principles that Newtonian mechanics should hold for slow velocities, so that there is one energy scalar and one three-vector momentum at slow velocities, and that the conservation law for energy and momentum is exactly true in relativity. 
Furthermore, he assumed that the energy of light is transformed by the same Doppler shift factor as its frequency, which he had previously shown to be true based on Maxwell's equations. The first of Einstein's papers on this subject was, Does the inertia of a body depend upon its energy content? in 1905. Although Einstein's argument in this paper is nearly universally accepted by physicists as correct, even self evident, many authors over the years have suggested that it is wrong. Other authors suggest that the argument was merely inconclusive because it relied on some implicit assumptions. Einstein acknowledged the controversy over his derivation in his 1907 survey paper on special relativity. There he notes that it is problematic to rely on Maxwell's equations for the heuristic mass energy argument. The argument in his 1905 paper can be carried out with the emission of any massless particles, but the Maxwell equations are implicitly used to make it obvious that the emission of light in particular can be achieved only by doing work. To emit electromagnetic waves, all you have to do is shake a charged particle, and this is clearly doing work, so that the emission is of energy. Topic. How far can one travel from the Earth? Since one can not travel faster than light, one might conclude that a human can never travel farther from Earth than 40 light years if the traveler is active between the ages of 20 and 60. One would easily think that a traveler would never be able to reach more than the very few solar systems which exist within the limit of 20 to 40 light years from the Earth. But that would be a mistaken conclusion. Because of time dilation, a hypothetical spaceship can travel thousands of light years during the pilot's 40 active years. If a spaceship could be built that accelerates at a constant 1 gram, it will, after a little less than a year, be traveling at almost the speed of light as seen from Earth. This is described by V T equals A T 1 plus A 2 T 2 C 2 Display style v t equals frac at sqrt one plus frac a caret two t caret two c caret two, where v t is the velocity at a time t, a is the acceleration of one gram, and t is the time as measured by people on Earth. Therefore, after one year of accelerating at 9.81 meters per square second, the spaceship will be traveling at v equals 0.77 c relative to Earth. Time dilation will increase the traveler's lifespan as seen from the reference frame of the Earth to 2.7 years, but his lifespan measured by a clock traveling with him will not change. During his journey, people on Earth will experience more time than he does. A five-year round trip for him will take 6.5 Earth years and cover a distance of over six light years. A 20-year round trip for him five years accelerating, five decelerating, twice each will land him back on Earth having traveled for 335 Earth years and a distance of 331 light years. A full 40-year trip at 1 gram will appear on Earth to last 58,000 years and cover a distance of 55,000 light years. A 40-year trip at 1.1 grams will take 148,000 Earth years and cover about 140,000 light years. A one-way 28-year 14 years accelerating, 14 decelerating as measured with the astronaut's clock trip at 1 gram acceleration could reach 2 million light years to the Andromeda galaxy. This same time dilation is why a muon traveling close to C is observed to travel much further than C times its half-life when at rest. Topic. Relativity and unifying electromagnetism Theoretical investigation in classical electromagnetism led to the discovery of wave propagation. Equations generalizing the electromagnetic effects found that finite propagation speed of the E and B fields required certain behaviors on charged particles. The general study of moving charges forms the leonard weichert potential, which is a step towards special relativity. The Lorentz transformation of the electric field of a moving charge into a non-moving observer's reference frame results in the appearance of a mathematical term commonly called the magnetic field. Conversely, the magnetic field generated by a moving charge disappears and becomes a purely electrostatic field in a comoving frame of reference. Maxwell's equations are thus simply an empirical fit to special relativistic effects in a classical model of the universe. As electric and magnetic fields are reference frame dependent and thus intertwined, one speaks of electromagnetic fields. 
Special relativity provides the transformation rules for how an electromagnetic field in one inertial frame appears in another inertial frame. Maxwell's equations in the 3D form are already consistent with the physical content of special relativity, although they are easier to manipulate in a manifestly covariant form, i.e. in the language of tensor calculus. Topic: <laughs> Theories of relativity and quantum mechanics. Special relativity can be combined with quantum mechanics to form relativistic quantum mechanics and quantum electrodynamics. It is an unsolved problem in physics how general relativity and quantum mechanics can be unified. Quantum gravity and a theory of everything, which require a unification including general relativity too, are active and ongoing areas in theoretical research. The early Bohr Sommerfeld atomic model explained the fine structure of alkali metal atoms using both special relativity and the preliminary knowledge on quantum mechanics of the time. In 1928, Paul Dirac constructed an influential relativistic wave equation, now known as the Dirac equation in his honor, that is fully compatible both with special relativity and with the final version of quantum theory existing after 1926. This equation explained not only the intrinsic angular momentum of the electrons called spin, it also led to the prediction of the antiparticle of the electron the positron, and fine structure could only be fully explained with special relativity. It was the first foundation of relativistic quantum mechanics. In non-relativistic quantum mechanics, spin is phenomenological and cannot be explained. On the other hand, the existence of antiparticles leads to the conclusion that relativistic quantum mechanics is not enough for a more accurate and complete theory of particle interactions. Instead, a theory of particles interpreted as quantized fields, called quantum field theory, becomes necessary, in which particles can be created and destroyed throughout space and time. Topic. Status Special relativity in its Minkowski spacetime is accurate only when the absolute value of the gravitational potential is much less than C2 in the region of interest. In a strong gravitational field, one must use general relativity. General relativity becomes special relativity at the limit of a weak field. At very small scales, such as at the Planck length and below, quantum effects must be taken into consideration resulting in quantum gravity. However, at macroscopic scales and in the absence of strong gravitational fields, special relativity is experimentally tested to extremely high degree of accuracy 10 and thus accepted by the physics community. Experimental results which appear to contradict it are not reproducible and are thus widely believed to be due to experimental errors. Special relativity is mathematically self-consistent, and it is an organic part of all modern physical theories, most notably quantum field theory, string theory, and general relativity in the limiting case of negligible gravitational fields. Newtonian mechanics mathematically follows from special relativity at small velocities compared to the speed of light thus Newtonian mechanics can be considered as a special relativity of slow-moving bodies. See classical mechanics for a more detailed discussion. Several experiments predating Einstein's 1905 paper are now interpreted as evidence for relativity. Of these it is known Einstein was aware of the Fizeau experiment before 1905, and historians have concluded that Einstein was at least aware of the Michelson-Morley experiment as early as 1899 despite claims he made in his later years that it played no role in his development of the theory. The Fizeau experiment 1851, repeated by Michelson and Morley in 1886 measured the speed of light in moving media, with results that are consistent with relativistic addition of collinear velocities. The famous Michelson-Morley experiment 1881, 1887 gave further support to the postulate that detecting an absolute reference velocity was not achievable. It should be stated here that, contrary to many alternative claims, it said little about the invariance of the speed of light with respect to the source and observer's velocity, as both source and observer were traveling together at the same velocity at all times. The troughton noble experiment 1903 showed that the torque on a capacitor is independent of position and inertial reference frame. 
The experiments of Rayleigh and Brace 1902, showed that length contraction doesn't lead to birefringence for a co-moving observer. In accordance with the relativity principle, particle accelerators routinely accelerate and measure the properties of particles moving at near the speed of light, where their behavior is completely consistent with relativity theory and inconsistent with the earlier Newtonian mechanics. These machines would simply not work if they were not engineered according to relativistic principles. In addition, a considerable number of modern experiments have been conducted to test special relativity. Some examples Tests of relativistic energy and momentum, testing the limiting speed of particles Ives-Stillwell experiment, testing relativistic Doppler effect and time dilation Experimental testing of time dilation, relativistic effects on a fast-moving particle's half-life Kennedy Thorndike experiment, time dilation in accordance with Lorentz transformations, Hughes Drever experiment, testing isotropy of space and mass, modern searches for Lorentz violation, various modern tests. Experiments to test emission theory demonstrated that the speed of light is independent of the speed of the emitter. Experiments to test the ether drag hypothesis, no, ether flow obstruction. Topic. Technical discussion of spacetime Topic. Geometry of spacetime Topic. Comparison between flat Euclidean space and Minkowski space Special relativity uses a flat four-dimensional Minkowski space, an example of a spacetime. Minkowski spacetime appears to be very similar to the standard three-dimensional Euclidean space, but there is a crucial difference with respect to time. In 3D space, the differential of distance line element ds is defined by d s 2 equals d x d x equals d x 1 2 plus d x 2 2 plus d x 3 2 Display style ds caret two equals d math bf x c d o t d math bf x equals d x underscore one caret two plus d x underscore two caret two plus d x underscore three caret two, where d x equals d x one d x two d x three are the differentials of the three spatial dimensions. In Minkowski geometry, there is an extra dimension with coordinate x0 derived from time, such that the distance differential fulfills d s 2 equals minus d x 0 2 plus d x 1 2 plus d x 2 2 plus d x 3 2 display style ds caret 2 equals dx underscore 0 caret 2 plus dx underscore 1 caret 2 plus dx underscore 2 caret 2 plus dx underscore 3 caret 2 where dx equals dx0, dx1, dx2, dx3 are the differentials of the four spacetime dimensions. This suggests a deep theoretical insight. Special relativity is simply a rotational symmetry of our spacetime, analogous to the rotational symmetry of Euclidean space. See image right. Just as Euclidean space uses a Euclidean metric, so spacetime uses a Minkowski metric. Basically, special relativity can be stated as the invariance of any spacetime interval that is the 4D distance between any two events when viewed from any inertial reference frame. All equations and effects of special relativity can be derived from this rotational symmetry the Poincaré group of Minkowski spacetime. The actual form of ds above depends on the metric and on the choices for the x0 coordinate. To make the time coordinate look like the space coordinates, it can be treated as imaginary, x0 equals ICT, this is called a wick rotation. 
According to Misner, Thorne and Wheeler 1971, Section 2.3, ultimately the deeper understanding of both special and general relativity will come from the study of the Minkowski metric described below and to take x0 equals court, rather than a «disguised» Euclidean metric using ICT as the time coordinate. Some authors use x0 equals t, with factors of c elsewhere to compensate, for instance, spatial coordinates are divided by c or factors of c plus or minus 2 are included in the metric tensor. These numerous conventions can be superseded by using natural units where c equals 1. Then space and time have equivalent units, and no factors of c appear anywhere. Topic. 3D spacetime. If we reduce the spatial dimensions to 2, so that we can represent the physics in a 3D space, d s 2 equals d x 1 2 plus d x 2 2 minus c 2 d t 2 display style ds caret 2 equals dx underscore 1 caret 2 plus dx underscore 2 caret 2 c caret 2 dt caret 2 we see that the null geodesics lie along a dual cone c fig 10 to 2 defined by the equation d s 2 equals 0 equals d x 1 2 plus d x 2 2 minus c 2 d t 2 Display style ds caret 2 equals 0 equals dx underscore 1 caret 2 plus dx underscore 2 caret 2 c caret 2 dt caret 2 or simply d x 1 2 plus d x 2 2 equals c 2 d T two display style dx underscore one carrot two plus dx underscore two carrot two equals c carrot two dt carrot two, which is the equation of a circle of radius c dt. Topic four d space time. If we extend this to three spatial dimensions, the null geodesics are the four-dimensional cone. D S two equals zero equals D X one two plus D X two two plus D X three two minus C two D T two Display style DS carrot two equals zero equals DX underscore one carrot two plus DX underscore two carrot two plus DX underscore three carrot two C carrot two D T carrot two So D X one two plus D X two two plus d x 3 2 equals c 2 d t 2 display style dx underscore 1 carrot 2 plus dx underscore 2 carrot 2 plus dx underscore 3 carrot 2 equals c carrot 2 d t carrot 2 as illustrated in Fig. 10 to 3, the null geodesics can be visualized as a set of continuous concentric spheres with radii equals c d t. This null dual cone represents the line of sight of a point in space. That is, when we look at the stars and say, the light from that star which I am receiving is x years old. We are looking down this line of sight, a null geodesic. 
we are looking at an event a distance d equals x 1 2 plus x 2 2 plus x 3 2 Display style d equals sqrt x underscore one carrot two plus x underscore two carrot two plus x underscore three carrot two away and a time d c in the past. For this reason, the null dual cone is also known as the light cone. The point in the lower left of the fig ten to two represents the star. The origin represents the observer, and the line represents the null geodesic line of sight. The cone in the minus t region is the information that the point is receiving, while the cone in the plus t section is the information that the point is sending. The geometry of Minkowski space can be depicted using Minkowski diagrams, which are useful also in understanding many of the thought experiments in special relativity. Note that, in 4D spacetime, the concept of the center of mass becomes more complicated, see center of mass relativistic. Physics in spacetime Topic. Transformations of physical quantities between reference frames Above, the Lorentz transformation for the time coordinate and three space coordinates illustrates that they are intertwined. This is true more generally, certain pairs of «timelike» and «spacelike» quantities naturally combine on equal footing under the same Lorentz transformation. The Lorentz transformation in standard configuration above, i.e., for a boost in the x direction, can be recast into matrix form as follows: C T X Y Z equals gamma minus beta gamma zero zero minus beta gamma gamma 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 c t X Y Z equals gamma C T minus gamma beta X gamma X minus beta gamma C T Y Z. Display style begin P matrix court X Y Z and P matrix equals begin P matrix gamma and beta gamma and zero and zero beta gamma and gamma and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and one end P matrix begin P matrix court X Y Z and P matrix equals begin P matrix gamma court Court gamma beta x gamma x beta gamma court y z end p matrix in Newtonian mechanics quantities which have magnitude and direction are mathematically described as 3D vectors in Euclidean space and in general they are parametrized by time. In special relativity, this notion is extended by adding the appropriate timelike quantity to a spacelike vector quantity, and we have 4D vectors or four vectors in Minkowski spacetime. The components of vectors are written using tensor index notation, as this has numerous advantages. The notation makes it clear the equations are manifestly covariant under the Poincaré group, thus bypassing the tedious calculations to check this fact. In constructing such equations, we often find that equations previously thought to be unrelated are, in fact, closely connected being part of the same tensor equation. Recognizing other physical quantities as tensors simplifies their transformation laws. Throughout, upper indices superscripts are contravariant indices rather than exponents except when they indicate a square this should be clear from the context, and lower indices subscripts are covariant indices. For simplicity and consistency with the earlier equations, Cartesian coordinates will be used. The simplest example of a four-vector is the position of an event in space-time, which constitutes a timelike component court and space-like component x equals x, y, z, in a contravariant position four-vector with components x nu equals x 0 x 1 x 2 x 3 equals C T X Y Z equals C T 
x display style x caret new equals x caret 0 x caret 1 x caret 2 x caret 3 equals court x y z equals court math bf x where we define x0 equals court so that the time coordinate has the same dimension of distance as the other spatial dimensions, so that space and time are treated equally. Now the transformation of the contravariant components of the position 4 vector can be compactly written as x mu equals lambda mu nu x nu Display style x caret mu equals lambda caret mu underscore nu x caret nu, where there is an implied summation on nu display style nu from zero to three and lambda mu nu display style lambda caret mu underscore nu is a matrix. More generally, all contravariant components of a four vector T new display style T caret new transform from one frame to another frame by a Lorentz transformation T mu equals lambda mu new T new display style T caret mu equals lambda caret mu underscore new T caret new Examples of other four vectors include the four velocity u mu display style u caret mu defined as the derivative of the position four vector with respect to proper time u mu equals d x mu d tau equals gamma v c V x V Y V Z equals Gamma V C V Display style U carrot mu equals FRAC DX carrot mu D tau equals Gamma V C V underscore X V underscore Y V underscore Z equals Gamma V C Math BF V where the Lorentz factor is gamma v equals one one minus v c two v two equals v x two plus v y two plus v Z two display style gamma v equals frac one sqrt one left frac v c right caret two q quad v caret two equals v underscore x caret two plus v underscore y caret two plus v underscore z caret two. The relativistic energy E equals gamma v m C two display style e equals gamma v mc caret two and relativistic momentum p equals gamma v m v display style math bf p equals gamma v m math bf v of an object are respectively the timelike and spacelike components of a contravariant four momentum vector. P mu equals m u mu equals m gamma v c v x v y v z equals e c p x P Y P Z equals E C P 
Display style p caret mu equals mu caret mu equals m gamma v c v underscore x v underscore y v underscore z equals left frac e c p underscore x p underscore y p underscore z right equals left frac e c math bf p right, where m is the invariant mass. The four acceleration is the proper time derivative of four velocity. Mu equals d u mu d tau. Display style a caret mu equals frac du caret mu d tau. The transformation rules for three-dimensional velocities and accelerations are very awkward. Even above in standard configuration, the velocity equations are quite complicated owing to their non-linearity. On the other hand, the transformation of four velocity and four acceleration are simpler by means of the Lorentz transformation matrix. The four gradient of a scalar field phi transforms covariantly rather than contravariantly. One c phi t phi x phi y phi z equals one. C phi t phi x phi y phi z gamma plus beta gamma zero zero plus beta gamma gamma zero 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 one O O O O one Display style begin P matrix FRAC one C FRAC partial Phi partial T and FRAC partial Phi partial X and FRAC partial Phi partial Y and FRAC partial Phi partial Z and P matrix equals begin P matrix FRAC one C FRAC partial Phi partial T and FRAC partial Phi partial X and FRAC partial Phi partial Y and FRAC Ac partial phi partial z end p matrix begin p matrix gamma and plus beta gamma and zero and zero plus beta gamma and gamma and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and one end p matrix which is the transpose of mu phi equals lambda mu nu nu phi mu x mu display style partial underscore mu phi equals lambda underscore mu caret nu partial underscore nu phi q quad partial underscore mu equiv frac partial partial x caret mu only in cartesian coordinates it's the covariant derivative which transforms in manifest covariance in cartesian coordinates this happens to reduce to the partial derivatives but not in other coordinates more generally the covariant components of a four vector transform according to the inverse lorentz transformation t mu equals lambda mu nu t nu display style t underscore mu equals lambda underscore mu caret nu t underscore nu where lambda mu nu display style lambda underscore mu caret nu is the reciprocal matrix of lambda mu nu Display style lambda caret mu underscore nu. The postulates of special relativity constrain the exact form the Lorentz transformation matrices take. More generally, most physical quantities are best described as components of tensors. So to transform from one frame to another, we use the well-known tensor transformation law. T theta iota kappa alpha beta Zeta equals lambda alpha mu lambda beta nu lambda zeta rho lambda theta sigma lambda iota upsilon lambda kappa phi t sigma 
Upsilon Phi Mu Nu Rho Display style t underscore theta iota c d o t s kappa caret alpha beta c d o t s zeta equals lambda caret alpha underscore mu lambda caret beta underscore nu c d o t s lambda caret zeta underscore rho lambda underscore theta caret sigma lambda underscore iota caret upsilon c d o t s lambda underscore kappa caret phi t underscore sigma upsilon c d o t s phi caret mu nu c d o t s rho where lambda chi psi display style lambda underscore chi caret psi is the reciprocal matrix of lambda chi psi display style lambda caret chi underscore psi. All tensors transform by this rule. An example of a four-dimensional second-order antisymmetric tensor is the relativistic angular momentum, which has six components, three are the classical angular momentum, and the other three are related to the boost of the center of mass of the system. The derivative of the relativistic angular momentum with respect to proper time is the relativistic torque, also second-order antisymmetric tensor. The electromagnetic field tensor is another second-order antisymmetric tensor field, with six components, three for the electric field and another three for the magnetic field. There is also the stress-energy tensor for the electromagnetic field, namely the electromagnetic stress-energy tensor. Topic. Metric The metric tensor allows one to define the inner product of two vectors, which in turn allows one to assign a magnitude to the vector. Given the four-dimensional nature of spacetime the Minkowski metric eta has components valid in any inertial reference frame which can be arranged in a 4 times 4 matrix, eta alpha beta equals minus 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 display style eta underscore alpha beta equals begin p matrix minus 1 and 0 and 0 and 0 0 and 1 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 and 0 0 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end p matrix which is equal to its reciprocal eta alpha beta display style eta caret alpha beta in those frames throughout we use the signs as above different authors use different conventions see minkowski metric alternative signs the poincare group is the most general group of transformations which preserves the minkowski metric eta alpha beta equals eta mu nu lambda mu alpha lambda nu beta display style eta underscore alpha beta equals eta underscore mu nu lambda caret mu underscore alpha lambda caret nu underscore beta and this is the physical symmetry underlying special relativity the metric can be used for raising and lowering indices on vectors and tensors Invariants can be constructed using the metric. The inner product of a four vector t with another four vector s is t alpha s alpha equals t alpha eta alpha beta s beta equals t alpha eta alpha Beta S beta equals invariant scalar display style t caret alpha s underscore alpha equals t caret alpha eta underscore alpha beta s caret beta equals t underscore alpha eta caret alpha beta s underscore beta equals text invariant scalar. Invariant means that it takes the same value in all inertial frames, because it is a scalar zero rank tensor, and so no lambda appears in its trivial transformation. The magnitude of the four vector t is the positive square root of the inner product with itself. T equals T alpha T alpha Display style math bf t equals sqrt t caret alpha t underscore alpha. One can extend this idea to tensors of higher order. For a second order tensor, we can form the invariance t alpha alpha t 
T alpha beta T beta alpha T alpha beta T beta gamma T gamma alpha equals invariant scalars display style t caret alpha underscore alpha t caret alpha underscore beta t caret beta underscore alpha t caret alpha underscore beta t caret beta underscore gamma t caret gamma underscore alpha equals text invariant scalars similarly for higher order tensors Invariant expressions, particularly inner products of four vectors with themselves, provide equations that are useful for calculations, because one doesn't need to perform Lorentz transformations to determine the invariance. <laughs> Relativistic kinematics and invariance The coordinate differentials transform also contravariantly d x mu equals lambda mu nu d x nu display style dx caret mu equals lambda caret mu underscore nu dx caret nu so the squared length of the differential of the position 4 vector dx mu constructed using d x 2 equals d x mu d x mu equals eta mu nu d x mu d x nu equals minus c d t 2 plus d x Two plus d y two plus d z two display style d math bf x caret two equals dx caret mu dx underscore mu equals eta underscore mu nu dx caret mu dx caret nu equals c d t caret two plus dx caret two plus di caret two plus d z caret two is an invariant. Notice that when the line element dx2 is negative that square root minus dx2 is the differential of proper time, while when dx2 is positive, square root dx2 is differential of the proper distance. The four velocity u mu has an invariant form u 2 equals eta nu mu u nu u mu equals minus c 2 display style math bf u caret 2 equals eta underscore nu mu u caret nu u caret mu equals c caret 2 which means all velocity four vectors have a magnitude of c this is an expression of the fact that there is no such thing as being at coordinate rest in relativity at the least you are always moving forward through time Differentiating the above equation by tau produces two eta mu nu a mu u nu equals zero. Display style two eta underscore mu nu a caret mu u caret nu equals zero. So in special relativity, the acceleration four vector and the velocity four vector are orthogonal. Topic. Relativistic dynamics and invariance The invariant magnitude of the momentum 4 vector generates the energy-momentum relation P 2 equals eta mu nu P mu P nu equals minus E C two plus P two 
Display style math BF P carrot two equals Ada carrot mu nu P underscore mu P underscore nu equals left FRAC E C right carrot two plus P carrot two. We can work out what this invariant is by first arguing that, since it is a scalar, it doesn't matter in which reference frame we calculate it, and then by transforming to a frame where the total momentum is zero. P two equals minus E R E S T C two equals minus M C two Display style Math BF P carrot two equals left FRAC E underscore Mathem rest C right carrot two equals Mick carrot two We see that the rest energy is an independent invariant. A rest energy can be calculated even for particles and systems in motion, by translating to a frame in which momentum is zero. The rest energy is related to the mass according to the celebrated equation discussed above E R E S T equals M C 2 Display style e underscore mathrm rest equals mc caret two. Note that the mass of systems measured in their center of momentum frame, where total momentum is zero, is given by the total energy of the system in this frame. It may not be equal to the sum of individual system masses measured in other frames. To use Newton's third law of motion, both forces must be defined as the rate of change of momentum with respect to the same time coordinate. That is, it requires the three d force defined above. Unfortunately, there is no tensor in 4D which contains the components of the 3D force vector among its components. If a particle is not traveling at C, one can transform the 3D force from the particle's co-moving reference frame into the observer's reference frame. This yields a 4-vector called the 4-force. It is the rate of change of the above energy momentum 4-vector with respect to proper time. The covariant version of the 4-force is F nu equals d p nu d tau equals m a nu display style f underscore nu equals frac dp underscore nu d tau equals ma underscore nu in the rest frame of the object the time component of the four force is zero unless the invariant mass of the object is changing, this requires a non-closed system in which energy, mass is being directly added or removed from the object in which case it is the negative of that rate of change of mass, times c. In general, though, the components of the 4-force are not equal to the components of the 3-force, because the 3-force is defined by the rate of change of momentum with respect to coordinate time, i.e. dp, dt while the 4-force is defined by the rate of change of momentum with respect to proper time, i.e. dp, d tau. In a continuous medium, the 3D density of force combines with the density of power to form a covariant 4 vector. The spatial part is the result of dividing the force on a small cell in 3 space by the volume of that cell. The time component is minus 1, C times the power transferred to that cell divided by the volume of the cell. This will be used below in the section on electromagnetism. See also People, Hendrik Lorentz, Henri Poincaré, Albert Einstein, Max Planck, Hermann Minkowski, Max von Laue, Arnold Sommerfeld, Max Born, Gustav Herglotz, Richard C. Tallman Relativity, Theory of Relativity, History of Special Relativity, Principle of Relativity, Doubly Special Relativity, General Relativity, Frame of Reference, Inertial Frame of Reference, Lorentz Transformations, Bondi K Calculus, Einstein Synchronization, Riedek Putnam Argument, Special Relativity, Alternative Formulations, Criticism of Relativity Theory, Relativity Priority Dispute Physics, Einstein's Thought Experiments, Newtonian Mechanics, Spacetime, Speed of Light, Simultaneity, Center of Mass, 
relativistic, physical cosmology, Doppler effect, relativistic Euler equations, ether drag hypothesis, Lorentz ether theory, moving magnet and conductor problem, shape waves, relativistic heat conduction, relativistic disk, Thomas precession, Born rigidity, Born coordinates mathematics, derivations of the Lorentz transformations, Minkowski space, four vector, world line, light cone, Lorentz group, Poincare group, geometry, tensors, split complex number, relativity in the APS formalism philosophy, actualism, conventionalism, formalism paradoxes, twin paradox, Ehrenfest paradox, ladder paradox, Bell spaceship paradox, velocity composition paradox, lighthouse paradox topic Primary sources topic References topic Notes topic Textbooks Einstein, Albert 1920. Relativity, the Special and General Theory. Einstein, Albert 1996. The Meaning of Relativity. Fine Communications. ISBN 1-56731-136-9 Loganov, Anatoly A. 2005. Henri Poincaré and the Relativity Theory Transl, from Russian by G. Pontecorvo and V. O. Soloviev, edited by V. A. Petrov Naka, Moscow. Charles Misner, Kip Thorne, and John Archibald Wheeler 1971. Gravitation. W. H. Freeman & Co. ISBN 0-7167-0334-3 Post, E.J., 1997 Formal Structure of Electromagnetics, General Covariance and Electromagnetics. Dover Publications. Wolfgang Rindler Introduction to Special Relativity 2nd ed., Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-853952-0, ISBN 0-19-853952-5 Harvey R. Brown 2005. Physical Relativity, Space-Time Structure from a Dynamical Perspective, Oxford University Press, ISBN 0-19-927583-1, ISBN 978-0-19-927583-0 Kadir, Ashgar Relativity, An Introduction to the Special Theory. Singapore, World Scientific Publications. p. 128. ISBN 978-9971-5-0612-4. Silberstein, Ludwig The Theory of Relativity. Lawrence Sklar Space, Time and Spacetime. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-03174-6. Lawrence Sklar Philosophy of Physics. Westview Press. ISBN 978-0-8133-0625-4. Taylor, Edwin, and John Archibald Wheeler Spacetime Physics W. H. Freeman & Co. ISBN 0-7167-2327-1 Tipler, Paul, and Llewellyn, Ralph 2002. Modern Physics 4th ed. W. H. Freeman & Co. ISBN 0-7167-4345-0 Topic Journal articles Alviger, T., Farley, F. J. M., Kjellman, J., Wallin, L., et al., 1964. Test of the Second Postulate of Special Relativity in the GEV Region. Physics Letters. 12 3, 260. Bibcode, 1964 PHL, 0.12, 260A. Doi 10.1016-0031-9163-64-91095-9. Derrigal, Olivier 2004. The Mystery of the Poincaré-Einstein Connection. Isis. 95 614-26. Doi 10.1086/430652. PMID 16,011,297. Wolf, Peter, Petit, Gerard. 1997. Satellite test of special relativity using the global positioning system. Physical Review A56, 6, 4405 Bibcode 1997PHRVA.56/4405W. Doi 10.1103 Fizriva.56.4405 Special Relativity Scholarpedia Special Relativity Kinematics Wolfgang Rindler Scholarpedia 62 8520 Doi 10.4249 Scholarpedia 8520 Topic External Links 
Topic: <laughs> Original works. Zur Elektrodynamik Buetter Korper Einstein's original work in German, Annalen der Physik, Bern 1905. On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies English translation as published in the 1923 book The Principle of Relativity. Topic: <laughs> Special Relativity for a General Audience. No mathematical knowledge required. Einstein Light an award-winning non-technical introduction, film clips and demonstrations supported by dozens of pages of further explanations and animations at levels with or without mathematics. Einstein Online Introduction to Relativity Theory, from the Max Planck Institute for Gravitational Physics. Audio, Kane, Gay 2006, Astronomy Cast. Einstein's Theory of Special Relativity Topic. Special Relativity Explained using simple or more advanced mathematics. Greg Egan's Foundations the Hogg Notes on Special Relativity A Good Introduction to Special Relativity at the Undergraduate Level, Using Calculus. Relativity Calculator, Special Relativity, an Algebraic and Integral Calculus Derivation for E equals MC2. MathPages, Reflections on Relativity A Complete Online Book on Relativity with an Extensive Bibliography. Special Relativity An Introduction to Special Relativity at the Undergraduate Level. Relativity, The Special and General Theory at Project Gutenberg, by Albert Einstein Special Relativity Lecture Notes is a standard introduction to special relativity containing illustrative explanations based on drawings and spacetime diagrams from Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University. Understanding Special Relativity The Theory of Special Relativity in an Easily Understandable Way an Introduction to the Special Theory of Relativity 1964 by Robert Katz. An introduction that is accessible to any student who has had an introduction to general physics and some slight acquaintance with the calculus. 130 pp. PDF format. Lecture Notes on Special Relativity by J. D. Kresser Department of Physics Macquarie University. SpecialRelativity.net, an overview with visualizations and minimal mathematics. Topic. Visualization Raytracing special relativity software visualizing several scenarios under the influence of special relativity. Real-time relativity The Australian National University. Relativistic visual effects experienced through an interactive program. Spacetime travel a variety of visualizations of relativistic effects, from relativistic motion to black holes. Through Einstein's eyes The Australian National University. Relativistic visual effects explained with movies and images. Warp Special Relativity Simulator A computer program to show the effects of traveling close to the speed of light. Animation clip on YouTube visualizing the Lorentz transformation. Original interactive flash animations from John de Pillis illustrating Lorentz and Galilean frames, train and tunnel paradox, the twin paradox, wave propagation, clock synchronization, etc. Lightspeed an OpenGL-based program developed to illustrate the effects of special relativity on the appearance of moving objects. Animation showing the stars near Earth, as seen from a spacecraft accelerating rapidly to light speed. <laughs> 